Brad, this is all an effort to for Metro to try to convince you that they're making their train safe from the coronavirus. This is Metro faces a budget hole of more than three hundred million dollars. Financial professional Michael Murphy takes Metro from his west suburban community to Chicago. The difference between early this year and now, Murphy says, is striking. A train that you took before the pandemic, was it typically packed? Oh, absolutely. Sometimes you'd be standing in the aisles. And what is it now? Uh, very empty. Maybe 10 percent, 5 to 10 percent of what a normal car, would, train car would be like. What Murphy sees is consistent with what Metra tells us. The commuter line has lost 90 percent of its riders during the pandemic. People are driving or working from home. Metro wants those commuters to return to the trains. We stand ready with open doors to welcome riders back and invite new riders in. When you ride on Metro, you're going to commute with confidence. Commute with confidence, the name of Metro's new million dollar advertising campaign. We're committed to your safety. Showing workers cleaning and sanitizing trains, showing hand sanitizers, and conductors wearing masks. Masks are mandatory. Riders have to wear them too. We can't make COVID-19 go away. No one can right now, but we can show people how to work around it. Before you get on a train, you can look up Metra's online dashboard to find out how many riders are already on board. The stakes are high for Metra. Its officials say even if ridership climbs to 30% of pre-COVID-19 levels at the end of the year, it'll still face a $352 million shortfall next year. Do you feel nervous at all about being on a public train? No. Metro can only hope more riders feel the same as Michael Murphy. So you will continue to be a loyal rider? Well, I am right now. Metro is facing that big budget hole, even though it received $479 million in federal COVID-19 relief and saved money by reducing its schedule. We're live, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.